Hello, this is Suki Nutmeg Ganache, and I am from season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Today, I'm gonna be making a variation of my face kini look. So I'm gonna take you from this to this. So, the first thing you gonna do is take off those hater blockers. I'm gonna be real honest with you. If you're looking for a straight up beauty and you know a, a name brand tutorial, go see Plastique. I'm not that girl. But if you wanna know how to do your makeup and you on a budget, you keep watching. So starting now, I'm gonna put on a little moisturizer. You know that commercial where the girl be putting on that lotion and the crocodile be rock walking in front of her? Yeah, that's my skin. I have really, really, really dry skin. Extra dry, super dry. First, I start off with my foundation. I use three different colors. I use a highlight, my base color, and a contour color. I put my highlight on first. I'm almost out of foundation. So, when you out of foundation, girl, you go get you a thin makeup brush, and you scoop that hoe out, honey. We using every dime. Ain't, look at all that foundation. You still got two more mugs in here. People be throwing it away. What you throwing it away for, girl? Every dollar count, honey. I use all, oh shoot. I just put it on like that, just glob it on. I put my highlight on kind of heavy and I put the base powder on kind of heavy, especially around these dark areas because I don't use like color correctors. This is my mid color and I like to do one line on top of that to help blend the dark. Then I go with that contour color. Bam. Bam. I'm that girl that do my contour like that. You know, at one point, people did contour like that and off the eyes like that, and they brought their um, cheekbone up like that with that light. Yeah, I don't do that, honey. That's make you look like a drag queen. I'm a woman. Now, I know that I'm doing a bug. You know, I'm doing this roach look, as Michelle would call it but I still want to look like a woman. Catch that T. These are full coverage thick foundations. The black girls use it. Some people don't like it because they say it's too greasy, but my face dry, so I love it. And I go down with a little bit of that right there. Hopefully I don't get on my shirt now. Now I use sponges. I have many sponges because it just depends on what I'm doing, how I'm doing. I rewash these with little, um, so, and I put a little olive oil or coconut oil when I wash these and I wring them out. Some people just rebuy them. Girl, you can reuse for a while until they just fall apart. This was on the verge of falling apart, but I'm gonna still get me some good uses out of it. I just start off by going through my light. I just rub it in, because remember we had dab it. I don't want it chunky hunky, honey. I want it to be smooth. I'm just rubbing it in, and then now that I've rubbed, I'm gonna pat. Now I'm gonna get my regular foundation, which I flip mine over. And I'm just gonna go to that peanut butter coat, honey. Black girls, I just want to express, because there's not a lot of tutorials that tell us this, Makeup is about building of colors. So make sure that we're getting our colors, that we use brands that support our facial and our tones. So yes, I do a really light highlight color because I want to look like I'm highlighted all night. You know, some highlights be fading away. This ain't gonna fade away on you, honey. And on Drag Race, bitch, we are make up for hours. So I brought my own towels. I do this at home. That's why I brought my own towels. They're not from the hotel. They're from my house. Now you get your powders. I use three different powders. I use a base powder, 
And I make this at home. I got one that's kind of like topaz and one that's kind of like banana. And then somebody left this on the show and I really liked it, but nobody would claim it. So it's man now. It's like this really bronze gold powder. So I use three powders. And girl, if I put my powder on, I'm taking my shirt off. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna get my dark. I got an old sponge. Beat that neck. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna get a new sponge. I just put a little drop right there. Now I know I ain't no plastic type of hole, but my mug's still beautiful. And I'm not pretty for a big girl neither, or a black girl. I'm beautiful, bitch. I go up here, you do your T-zone, I do a real heavy, honey. And like I beat the outside in, I beat this in too. And then we're gonna take that last powder. This is like a old gold, honey. Now I start my contouring, per honey. I always start off with my cheeks. I do like two or three different layers on my contour. Just your old, you know, one of these old good old palettes. Yes, I'm running out. Drag much money ain't came in yet. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with some browns. Just, you know, to see where I want my contours to go. And I just go in like this. And I smile when I do it. So I go like this. Remember to smile, honey. We not a curious with that resting bitch face. Smile, honey. That's my sister, but it, she be looking beat. And you better not talk about her. Only I can do that. Now I'm gonna go into my dark contour. And I just go across it like that. I put a lot of black in it. We ain't going all the way down. We just gonna put it right there. You know, in that area. We just gonna put it there. Okay. Y'all seen what I look like on the show, so. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't know it looked that bad. Before I move on to my next contour, because that black, I don't want that black to bleed in for too long. I'm gonna take my topaz powder. I was gonna do this anyway. I'm just doing it a little earlier. Do it just like this. Then I smile. I go all the way down to like part of my chin. Since I'm skipping steps on myself, I just take that and go like this. Then I take this palette right here. And I use like these burgundies and these cinnamons and I use that little bit of that iridescent honey. And I go back in. And I add the color, a little bit of color to my contour. Go ahead and re-highlight like that. I know it ain't looking like nothing now, honey, but it's gonna look like something a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my burgundy contour and I blend it out that harsh line. Then I'm gonna take my black brush. Go back in there, honey. Just on them corners. I was a black girl that was fortunate to have a small forehead, so I don't contour a lot. So now I'm gonna do my nose contour. I like this really warm brown right here. And now I'm gonna go with a dark brown. Cause with this look being a roach, kinda wanna be kinda darkish. But to make sure it blends out well, I'm gonna take my highlight powder, go right under that eye, right on top of that nose, and bring it down, honey. Cause you don't want it to be too harsh. Moving on, we're gonna start that crease combination of a lot of different browns I got here. Make sure I throw in a couple of these iridescent ones and I just make a circle. Just like that. 
over to the app. Just like that. Now before I go in with my dark, dark, I'm gonna take this, my highlight powder, and put a lot of it right there at that corner, honey. Get some black, and I'm gonna go in like that. Take it up just a little bit, ever so slightly. And go like that. I'm gonna get my handy dandy blending brush and blend the holes out. I'm gonna try to just blend those in together, honey. Go down. Blend that black in. So you have that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyebrows. And what do I use for my eyebrows? A good old permanent marker. Dry your eyebrows, bitch. Now I want my eyebrows to go up a little bit today just because of this look. Don't knock it till you try it, bitch. And I usually go down with my brows, but I'm just gonna take them out just a little bit. I'm gonna get this color to clean up my eyebrows and to highlight on my brow bone. And I'm just taking a little bit to go on top. Some people call this the Roxy Andrews. I agree. Now you get a real fluffy brush. You get them darts again, them dark colors. Let's go back up here. Blend it in real nice. Go back in with your black. I'm gonna use black liquid liner. I'm using a black liquid liner because I really want a wing today. Just to go with the roach look. Now I'm gonna take a brush, a foundation, and draw on my lids. I'm just gonna use my light foundation. I can use Mercedes Clown White. So I wanted to have a lot of lid space. And now I'm just gonna take a purple shadow. I'm just gonna go on top of that. Oh, you see it's all vibrant. Mm-hmm, I'm putting a lot of purple. You wanna pack it in, but you wanna have that color, honey. I'm gonna go back in with my dark brown. Real dark. Just so they know, bitch, we gotta cut crease. Before I go in and, you know, do all the touches and the blending, before I add all my accessories to my makeup, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna take a look at things and see what's going on. As black girls, a lot of the times, our face tends to absorb a lot of the colors. And I can tell that it's done that in my contour. So I'm just gonna go back in my contour with a little bit of my burgundy and brown, that last finish one, and just brighten it up just a little bit. But before I put on my lash, we're gonna put on a few sparkles, baby. Now for this look, I'm adding a lot of stones and a lot of glitter. So what the first thing I'm gonna do with my spray, get a little bit on my finger and go in just like this. Wipe that off, lick it, stick it in the glitter and bam. That's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna get my, my brush for my blush because I wear a lot of blush. I had to take both of the pinks, a yellow and the orange, baby. Pink, yellow and the orange. Black girls, don't be afraid of that orange, honey. I'm 
Get that light highlighter. And just hit hit that heat it one more time. Hit it, don't be afraid. Take a little bit of highlight. Now let me use the gum drop. Carl gum drop. Put a little bit on the here. Oh, that looks wonderful. Yes, honey. A little gum drop. Oh my goodness. Look who we have in the building. Hello. I Miss Veggie is calling me. Say hello to the people. Roger, Brooklyn, and Nina has decided to drop in. Girl. All right, bye. Oh my, isn't it wonderful when you have friends to just drop in on you? Take the little highlighting brush and blend out. Blend out, blend out. I'm gonna get my, my glitters back again. Lick. And hit your honey. Hit them with your best shot. I like to bring mine down to the cheek, honey. Fade it out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some lashes on. These are a pair of 304s and a pair of 40. Now these are our old lashes. I'm gonna give you a trick. When you want your lashes to look new, you just take a pair. 301, 304s, 199s, whatever you like. And you put them at the bottom. Good as new, right? And my bottom lashes, I'm gonna reuse those too. These are just, I don't even remember the numbers on them. They just some cheap lashes, chair. But I'm gonna stack them with a pair of 138s because I'm gonna be extra lash because I am a bug. I go ahead and put the bonding glue on the lashes. I put them on kind of heavy, chair. Put it on high to make sure it blows up. Lashes have no business going like this on your lie. They need to be going up, not like that. They go like that, we call them the Indiana Droop. <laughs> Fabulous. I'm gonna hit it with this glitter one more time, honey. You might as well, you're gonna hit it with everything else. On the show, I actually did a black lip with black glitter. But today I'm fitting my daytime fish. Put the little edge there, you know. And get my iridescent. Lick my finger, get the air of this one, and go on the inside of the lip. Now that the mug is done, let me go slip my skinny ass into that skinny ass look, honey. Okay, so this is my final look for the face kitty challenge. Oh, she is done, honey. She is ready. How about that, bitch? You can follow me on Instagram, Silky Ganache. Facebook, Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Snapchat, Silky Nutmeg. Bye. Can't wait to see you on the road for we can drink some tequilas, girl.
Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.